we're back. Hello, chums. We're gonna go into uh, Medeal and check out, you know, catch up with our old friends. Patreon link in the description below doesn't work. Oh shit, well, thanks man. Bitch. I am on Patreon and subscribe star though. So let's go talk to, uh, actually we already went, went in this building. What the hell's in here? A doggo! Hold on, potion. It's an elixir actually. I've got a feeling something bad gonna happen. Everyone gonna be okay? I don't know, I live a long full life. Don't worry about my son and his family living that far off town. Damn dude, okay. Wait a minute, you just take something? Oh, yeah, I took it, old man. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> hey, it's mine now. I can use it. Leave you me. Hey, hey, we're not all alone. Use it. Oh, thanks. You just gonna give us the elixir? Thanks. All right, dude. You got my punchy waifu yet? No, not yet. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Tifa, how's it going? I'm, I'm inside, <laughs> Tifa. T Tifa. <laughs> We, we, we might want to join me on this plane of existence, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Cloud, I'm inside your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on, Cloud. Uh, no, Cloud's a vegetable now. What number am I? Oh. Okay, dude, sure. I'm sorry, but your friend's condition has really changed. change. If you be patient and wait this out, these things take time. It's like fine wine. Time is of the essence. Shit, dude. Yeah, bun sets. Okay. It's no use. I don't understand a thing, pretty boy. What should I do? What if you never recover for the rest of your life? Oh, shit. Ah! So would you go full retard? Wow. <laughs> Uh, they're coming! What did you say, pretty boy? Uh, uh. Damn, what the hell's going on? Okay, so something's happening. Let's go outside and see. Oh, fuck. What's this? The live stream is gushing out from the low surface of the earth! Oh, shit! Damn, this is bad! Trip, what's wrong? Nothing. You and Primo are getting inside quick. That's not gonna help, dude. It's gonna blow. But I. Hey, don't worry about a thing. And with that, that easy. Yeehaw. Be careful. Okay, here I go. Watch this. Or are you fighting one of the weapons? Yeah, it's gonna land right fucking here. Rah! Damn! That fucking, I guess it's fucking, that fucking weapon? Hold on, Cloud fell over again. My actual- His potato, he turned into a potato! <laughs> well, time's to show up. Yes, yeah, so as it turns out, the weapon just happens to be attacking the same time that the livestream's gonna blow up the town. Well then. Okay then, come on, you bitch! I guess he says, I don't know. <laughs> I come on, I you honky ass motherfucker! No, it's you honky ass motherfucking cunt whistler. Mm hmm. Yes. And here he is. Bitch! You so big, girl! Okay, uh, we need a big guard. We don't have a big guard. Okay, on this guy. Shit. That's some damage. Do I have a healing? Yes, I do. Why don't you use barrier? We got a big guard on this guy. What, what, what stones does the trip have? He has like, all the good ones, eh? Damn, look at those thighs, girl! I can't, look at those thighs! <laughs> <laughs> no, unhero, like, Naomi hasn't, hasn't beaten this game before, so this is all new. Uh, yeah, actually, I'll, I'll try bad breath. Bad breath. Oh, can't you steal great shit from him, too? I'm gonna try. Bad breath. <laughs> I ate too many collard greens. Didn't do anything. Ultima beam, um, please don't kill me. Didn't do that much, okay, good. Yeah, Stole think... curse ring. That's a second curse ring, very good. You haven't missed that much schnitzel. Although, we killed the condor. <laughs> I guess we did kill the condor, huh? Shut the fuck up. Oh, he's leaving. 
Okay, so I think this begins the ultimate weapon side quest. Um, ultimate weapon is a ridiculously powerful monster, but every time you knock off 20,000 HP, he'll run away from you. Mm. You have to chase him all across the world map. Oh, wow. And eventually you can kill him. Can you, like, see him on the world map? Yeah, he, like, flies around. Oh, okay. Yeah, now we can hunt him. Okay. There he goes. So, Sapphire Weapon. You shit, you trying to escape? Sapphire Weapon got his head blown off. Mm -hmm. And then, I think we saw Diamond Weapon a little bit, but not much. Mm -hmm. And then that's Ultimate Weapon. And then Emerald and Ruby I haven't seen yet. I swear, next time that guy's dead meat! That was too childish. Looks like the live stream. Looks like the live stream settled down too. Damn, you gotta be kidding. Fucking Das Raid Jinx and shit. <laughs> this is bad. The mainstream's kicking up. Something way bigger than the last one's on its way. Oh shit. No good. Get out of here. What about our iron pretty boy? God damn it. Not a time to worry about anyone other than yourself. Don't that stream's gonna blow. Whoa! There's no time! Everyone panic, run around! All right, pretty boy, get out here! Oh god, the tremors are getting worse. Hey, Dev, I think you, knew you can use that cursed ring with another prime member's weapons and a very good combo. I don't, tell me about it! <laughs> Stop hating me. Uh, th no, this is, um, this is the weapon fucking with us after he left. He's blowing up the live stream. Here you it's go. been on there long okay, enough. Okay, sorry, yeah. Doctor, shouldn't we move him somewhere? Hmm, might be safer to move to an open area. Uh, yeah, because your town's gonna get fucked. Don't you worry about a thing, pretty boy. <laughs> doctor, doctor, give me the news. Cloud is the best actor in this scene. <laughs> I'll see to it that you get somewhere safe. No, the structure can't take it, hurry! Yes! Ready, pretty boy? We're leaving now. You didn't need to monologue so much, Ara Ara. Run! Oh god! The fucking doctor died! Yeah, the doctor died. He's gone. Oh shit! <laughs> Ghost ride the crypt, yo! <laughs> <laughs> and they both fall into the live stream again. Well, dead. Both of them. Yeah, they're just sinking into it. Damn, you can really see her pants. Yeah, dude, it's vegetable soup. Animal crackers in my look, soup. Do you get it? Yeah, I know. I, I guess. I get it, <laughs> Deb, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, the ice cream is not lava. No, it, it, it doesn't kill you. You don't even suffocate when you're in it. You just get poisoned by it. Also, these are really gross liquid sounds. Like... Can't do anything. Where am I? What's happening? I. People thought this was cutting edge because it was like 23 years ago. Yep. You would lose your shit if you were like 1996 playing this. Where's Pretty Boy? Pretty Boy, where are you? Huh? What? Who? Huh? Yeah, the, no, the live stream, if you're exposed to it, gives you Mako poisoning. Who is it? I can't hear. Yeah, you know, there was a Kefka laugh. Yeah. Wait a minute. I know nothing about that. No, it's not me. I never do anything like that. No! Stop it! Stay back! Yeah, exactly. We were wrong, yeah. So I'm not gonna look at the chat because we have this is actually important. Somebody help, please. Pretty boy, help me.
Okay. I have no idea how this happens, but it does. You can just blame it on live stream bullshit. Mm -hmm. But here we are. Where am I? Pretty boy? What is it, pretty boy? What is this? <laughs> is this the inside of your dreams? Or is it your subconscious? You're searching, aren't you, pretty boy? Yeah, Evangelion was new, so crazy mental psyche shit was popular. Yeah. Me. Searching for yourself. I can help too. We'll work together to try and get the real you back. So we're in Cloud's head. Actually, this is not like a trip or a dream. Confirmed. The live stream connected our minds. Cool beans. That's been up there long enough. So I can play as Tifa. I can't access the menu at all. Well, there's no menu to be found in the uh, realm of the subconscious. So if you notice, that's like like Tifa's window in Nibelheim. Mm -hmm. Up there's the Nibelheim gates. And that looks like the place where Tifa and Cloud sat down in the center of the town. Yeah. So who do you want to talk to first? Um, Bottom Cloud. A sealed up secret wish. Tender feelings that no one can ever know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take this. I can't. <laughs> okay. That starry night at the well, the front, wait, actually, is, is this you, maybe? I have no idea. Yeah. Probably what does the memories all lie? Okay. I think that might be Cloud. Yeah. How about this one? The gates of Nibelheim, five years ago, Sephiroth passed through the gates. That's how it all started. Let's go see this memory. It connects to Nibelheim? We're doing an important thing here, Shinnitz, so I'll have somebody else tell you in the chat, sorry. That's right. It's probably best to start from there. All right. Okay, let's go. Let's go have a look, pretty boy. I know it's not easy. I'll be here for you. This is gonna be amazing in the remake, by the way. I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm just, it could literally be the exact same game. I'd just be really excited for all the pretty graphics. Yeah. Yeah. Even turn-based fights? Yeah. Okay. Pretty boy, look. Here's the well. And that's Gramps Inn, too. Mm hmm Yeah, I'm sure it was, yeah. The only truck in town. It's been here since we were little kids, right? Man, your town only has one truck? Yep. That's a, t Jesus. <laughs> that's, yep. that's terrible. Olden times. This is the Nibelheim you remember, right? It's the same as my Nibelheim. That's why this is our Nibelheim. Okay, so something that was actually left under the translation that I have to tell you is happening right now. Mm -hmm. So, the idea is that when Sephiroth showed us the version of events, mm -hmm. and they were different from Cloud's version of events, we realized that the Genova cells in Cloud's body allow, basically allow his memories to change mm -hmm. to suit Tifa's. Mm -hmm. Just to keep the charade up. Yes. So their plan here, and they, they said in the Japanese version, they didn't say it in this, in, this, in this version, is Cloud is going to describe his memories mm -hmm. to Tifa mm -hmm. so that she's the one checking him and not, so like, this, is, this is like Tifa's version of the story now. Oh, okay. So the idea would be that Cloud describes his memories and Tifa tells him where he's going right or wrong. And they, try to, and they try to find out the, the truth together. Because... Exciting! Go! Okay. <laughs> You're actually excited? Yes! Okay. Hey, Cloud. Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. Sephiroth and a young and vibrant soldier. Can you tell me again what happened? Let's see it. There's Sephiroth. Who does it feel? Five years ago, I saw the real Sephiroth for the very first time. These are like old dialogues. 
How does it feel? I wouldn't know because I don't have a in. Um, how about your parents? So this is the great Sephiroth. Mother Genova, yep, we know that. But to tell the truth, I thought he was very cold. Who does it matter? All right, so, that's you. So after Tifa says something, like, the, okay, so Cloud will be, so Cloud will say a line, and then, like, the stuff will happen, and then after Tifa says her line, it, it's the actual event that's happening? Um, kind of, yes? you'll see. That, okay. Kind of. Well, like, he just... Yep, you'll see, you'll see. Just, 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 just roll with it for a bit, okay? Go. <laughs> you want to say it for morning? <laughs> okay. So the two grunts show up, and Cloud's here. This is Cloud's version of events. No, pretty boy. I've been hiding it for some time, afraid that if I told you, something terrible might happen. Sounds good, Kreiser. But I'm not going to hide anything anymore. You weren't here. Pretty Boy did not come to Nibelheim five years ago. I waited, but Pretty Boy never came. The two that were ordered here were Sephiroth and another person. Let's go. You mean that the member of Soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't Pretty Boy? There's nothing I can say. You must find the answer yourself. If you can't, then... Take your time, pretty boy. Slowly. Little by little. Okay. And yeah, because we still don't know how Cloud remembers yep. those memories. Because they're, they're true. The Tifa knows they're true. Yeah. Because she's not affected by Genova. No. So we're figuring it out now. Did you have a theory, by the way? No. I pretty you much have, know. You have no idea. Yeah, no. I don't know. By the way, the reason why this was um, revolutionary for the time is it's not only because... Um, of the of the, the mid '90s, loving psychological stuff coming out of Japan because of Evangelion, it was also because um, video games up, up until this point didn't do the whole unreliable narrator thing, where your player active, where your character actively lies to the player about what happened, mm -hmm. and, and that hadn't been done until here. So, this is this is some good shit. Yeah, there's a giant ghostly cloud up there. So I think the game wants us to go to this one next, but I'll check out this one first. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we can't we have to go to this one next. Okay. Unreliable narrator named Dev. That story. Yeah, okay. We, yeah, we already talked about three of these. Don't hurry, pretty boy. Don't answer too quickly. Just keep checking all those small emotions, and it'll come back slowly, little by little. <laughs> Yeah, Naomi. So. Right, like the sky that night. The heavens were filled with stars. This is one of the reasons why, like, uh, children who play this game always believe that, like, Cloud and Eris are the couple. Mm -hmm. And adults who play this game always know that it's Cloud and Tifa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Though canonically, Cloud did, I think, choose Eris first. Like, Lame. They, 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 went, they went on the date together. Lame. Yeah. From the beginning, okay? Try and remember, pretty boy. That's true, Yuffie is the only one that actually kisses Cloud on the date. Gross. I was wearing these clothes. That's you too. You were so small back then. And cute. <laughs> they both look at the same time. Sephiroth once said, 
pretty boy made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine the sky? No, you remembered it. That night, the stars were gorgeous. It was just pretty boy and I, and we talked at the well. And that's why I kept thinking you were the real pretty boy. I still believe you're the pretty boy from Nidal Heart. But you don't believe in yourself. Yeah, so, so clearly Tifa did know a kid. Yeah. Named Cloud. Yeah. Yeah. These memories aren't enough. Pretty boy, what about your other memories? No. Not memories. A memory is something that is consciously recalled, right? That's why sometimes it can be mistaken or wrong. It's different from a memory locked in deep within your heart. That's why it must be a fake. If you could recall up that memory. That's it? What about some memory that has to do with me? If I say something, you can't remember it. But if you say something, and I remember it too, then we'll know that's a memory. Okay, so they, they put it here in the translation. It was supposed to be at the start. Mm -hmm. But okay, anyway, whatever. Talk to me about anything. Show important memories to you. You can tell like, the translation's not great in this, eh? <laughs> now that you mention it, why did you want to join Soldier in the first place? I always thought it was a sudden decision. I was devastated. I think that's... Yeah, then, actually, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I thought if I got stronger, someone would notice. Someone to notice you? Who? You. You yeah, see, I think Tifa can also hear his thoughts, mm -hmm. as well as what he's saying. Me? Why? Did you forget about those days? Look, I... I'm sorry, but what are you talking about? No, it's all right. You were having a hard time back then. You were so busy with your own things, it's only natural you don't remember me then. Then? It's important to me. I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see it? Yeah, it's this one. And it's one that Tifa's not going to want to see. But here we go. Hey, can I... Yep, yep. Come on, hurry! Okay. Do you know where this window goes to, Arara? Fine, I'll go. Yep, it's Tifa's room. I thought her room was on the second floor. It is. Oh. My room? It was my first time here. There. Was it? I only used to look up at it from the outside. Hey, look. Pretty boy's coming. Think he wants to come in? What is happening? Was that the first day you came into my room? That's right. Yeah, he must have looked up from the well, yeah. We lived next to each other. But I really didn't know you that well. I've known you since we were children and always thought we were close. Now that you mention it, I don't recall you ever being in my room. 
Ara Ara always used to have her own group. That's right. I thought they were all stupid. What? You were all childish, laughing at every stupid little thing. But we were children then. I know. I was a stupid one. Yeah, they do look like the Avalanche trio, don't they? Or trio. J uh, Jesse, Biggs, and Wedge? Yeah. Maybe it's them. Who knows? Maybe. I really wanted to play with everyone, but you never let me in the group. Then later, I started thinking I was different. That was different from those immature kids. But then maybe... So Cloud was like was like the, the, the edgy kid, I guess. Or the, the loner kid. So maybe they would invite me in. I thought that might happen, so I hung around. I was so prejudiced and weak. That night, I asked Ara Ara to come out to the well. I thought to myself, Ara Ara would never come, that she hated me. It was so sudden that I was a bit surprised. But... It was true we weren't that close, but... After you left town, I really thought about you a lot. Wanting what you can't have. I used to wonder how Pretty Boy was doing. I wondered if you were able to get into Soldier. I started reading in the newspapers, thinking I might see an article about you. Thanks, RR. Tell them what you told me later. They'll probably be so happy. Okay. Huh? What happened on this day? Was it a special day? Yeah, Cloud was a nice guy, basically. <laughs> nice guy, too. <laughs> this was the day. Oh. That our, our mother, our, our's mother. She died? Yep. The day Mom died. I, I want us to see Mom. Is that treasure chest up there we didn't get? <laughs> I don't know. Is this young RRR still? Yes, it is, yeah. I wonder if there's anything beyond that mountain. Mount Nibel is scary. Many people have died here. No one crossed the mountain alive. How about those that died? Did Mama pass through these mountains? Um, that doesn't make any sense. I'm going. There's fucking green dragons up here, dude. <laughs> Do it, bruh. Get, get eaten by the big dragoons. And the kids are like, guess we're, guess we're going with her. And he's like, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> Peace. There's Cloud. What's going on up here? What the fuck's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Does make sense. She thinks heaven is on the other side of the mountain. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they're like, fuck nope. this. <laughs> Bridge is too scary. Come on, Cloud. Go after her. Oh, I can play as her now. Oh, that's right. So they fell off the bridge together. Well. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't really show up, but they fell off the bridge. Um, shouldn't have probably got a look at that fucking bridge. It's broken twice now. Yeah, probably. I don't remember the path I walked. Our, our Mr. Step, our Andrew, we didn't make it in time. We both fell off the cliff. Back then, I already scarred my knees, but... Pretty boy, why'd you bring RR to a place like this? What the hell's the matter with you? What if she dies? And I just leave Cloud there. <laughs> RR was in a coma for seven days. We all thought you wouldn't make it. 
If only I could have saved her. I was so angry at myself for my weakness. Ever since then, I felt Ara Ara blamed me. I went out of control. I get into fights with anyone. That was the first time I heard about Sephiroth. I thought if I was strong like Sephiroth, then... Dude, he is Naruto, yep. Yeah, but he's Naruto from before Naruto existed. Yep. I'm sure Naruto probably, probably inspired this. Probably. Yeah. If I could just get stronger, then even Ara Ara would have to notice me. So that was it. Sorry, pretty boy. If I had only remembered more clearly what happened, I could have done something sooner. Yeah, well, you also were in a coma for seven days. No. It's not your fault. But I remember back when we were eight. That's it. Now I know. FF7 was 96 in Japan, 97 here. You weren't created five years ago. My childhood memories weren't all made up. Hang in there, pretty boy. Just a little longer. You've almost found the real you. Let's go back to Nibelheim again. Sci-fi effects. <laughs> back to Nibelheim, dude. These ones don't do anything anymore, it seems. And there's still a giant one up there. He's hanging out. Yep. All right. Okay, so before we do this, now that you've learned most of the story, do you have any idea why Cloud knows about the return trip to Nibelheim that he wasn't on? Maybe he was there, but like he was just like a regular soldier. It's gonna. That's my theory. I'm probably wrong, to be fair. But what, do I, what do I do? That's my theory. Oh, here we go. The truth is almost is right here. You almost have the answer right in the palm of our hands. Wait, do I have to do something? Just walk. Do I have to walk, do I have to walk in? Okay. Yes. A game theory. Doi. I don't fucking know. It was it was talking to everyone else. Doi. Everyone else needs to talk to him. Here we go. They run together. Together forever. Pretty boy. Wait. It's at this point you realize that Cloud and Tifa have only had two conversations in their entire life before Cloud joined Avalanche. It's true, most of their actual relation to each other was Cloud watching Tifa from afar before he left town, and then Tifa watching Cloud from, a, from afar after he left town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's strange. Where are you going? The reactor? The reactor! To the maker reactor of five years ago! Yeah, they stalk each other, yeah. Oh yeah, this happened. Owned! Oh, 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 Up, oh. skirt, oh. shot. Hey, it's Pretty Boy. Zack! You remembered. So it was obvious before, but now they finally tell you that it was Zack. Zack. Oh, and he was able to get in. <laughs> That's right. It was Zack who came to Nibelheim with Sephiroth. Then, where were you, Pretty Boy? Oh, he got fucked. Pretty boy, did you see it all? Was it because he was in one of the things? I saw everything. He takes oh, Zach's sword. Oh, he was just a regular soldier. Naomi yeah, was right. Oh! Ah, who are you? Mom! My town, give it back! Ah! I had so much respect for you! I admired you! So he, he stole Zack's sword and stabbed Sephiroth with it. Well, shit. Thanks, Zigaton. 
pretty boy. That's what happened. You were there. Yes, yeah, so the one soldier that didn't die. You were watching me. Yeah, I remember. You can't go in. Huh. Hmm, so it was you. I, I don't. I, do we even have a Zach voice? I don't think so. We haven't. No, we haven't had a Zach voice yeah. yet. Oh, it, it did it myself. Yeah. Yeah, this is me. I never made it as a member of Soldier. I even left my hometown telling everyone I was going to join, but... I was so embarrassed, I didn't want to see anybody. But isn't he a part of Soldier? No, he's just a regular Shinra Grunt. Oh. Uh... So you, you put his helmet back on so Tifa wouldn't see, because he was too embarrassed. Yep. How does he feel? Yeah. It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? Yeah, so it turns out Cloud's just a fucking loser. Yep. <laughs> I'm... You came. You kept your promise. So you really did come when I was in trouble. Sorry I didn't get there sooner. It's alright, pretty boy. Just like you. Oh yeah, so he's got Genova's head. So that's where that went. Yeah. So, Zack's dead? No, he's just there for now. We don't know if he's dead or not yet. Pretty boy, kill Sephiroth. Seth Roth! Ooh! Dear patient. Um. It can't be! Oh. And he goes into the live stream. And the live stream flowed him up to the northern crater, and he's been there ever since. Well, he got penetrated. Yeah. And then, like, the actual Sephiroth body that we found was that guy that we threw into the thing. When we found him in a crystal. Because he's been in there for, like, five years. He's, he's like inside materia, basically, at this point. <sighs> then this is goodbye, RR, until we meet again. See ya! got stabbed by the fucking buster so that's why he has no legs. Yep. Yeah, you think so?
pretty boy. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, pretty boy, it's really you, isn't it? Yeah, are, are we finally meet again? You stupid jerk. You had us all worried sick. Ah. Pretty boy, are you all right? Voice there. Ah. Blah. I see we're in the live stream, aren't we? Yeah, how else would this be happening, dude? Everyone's waiting. Let's go back, pretty boy. Back to everyone. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, Ara, let's go home. And? Whoosh. Those boobs float. Yeah, man. Generally, when I float on my back in the water, all you can see is boobs and face. Yeah. Yeah. So I know how that feels. So, Medeal's been fucked. It's a, it's a giant life stream pool. Love it. And they just kind of wash up on shore. Yo, you all right? Ara, Ara. <laughs> Bye, Zen Chan. <laughs> God, what, was, what was Barrett's voice again? I pity the fool. That's right. You. That's right. You came back. I... Pretty boy. Where is he? Don't worry about him, he's a tough one. That's right. I, when I was in the live stream, I saw the real pretty boy. I mean, I didn't really find him. Pretty boy, he found himself. Alright, I know. I shouldn't have noted. Yeah. But I can't win against you. You're some kind You're some kind of lady. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, Barrett on stage? She's some kind of wonderful. Some kind of wonderful, yes yeah, she is. Wait, you don't know the song? No. She's some kind of wonderful. Da 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 She's some kind of wonderful to me. You know what I mean? You ever heard that song? Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know what that song is? No. God damn it. I'm not a skinhead. She doesn't know how it goes at all. Fuck off, both of you. <laughs> but, but that's why. <laughs> but, yeah, it is like an 80s song, I think. Or like a 90s song, you know? Anyway. Yep, well, Avalon Apple, go talk to Dave about it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> Bunsen's triggered. triggered. Yeah, she's triggered. Anyway, go on here. She's some kind of wonderful, yeah, she, she is. is. No, that's a different song. Eh. All right, here, go ahead. People have so many things pent up inside of themselves, like vibrating dildos. So many things that can never forget, like your first butt plug. Oh, shit, so kind of wonderful. Damn, dude. Okay. Strange, isn't it? Like a vibrating butt plug. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, all right. <laughs> <laughs> there's no free bird and, and dev can't fucking sing it i don't know free bird yo or, or, snap but i only know a free bird because of um uh guitar hero tracker i shaved it yeah we'll figure it out avalon apple here What's we are a canadian waffle i'm alive everyone i'm sorry i don't want to say don't say a thing pretty boy all you've been doing is apologizing like a good Canadian. Tracker, I literally shaved his head. I never was in Soldier. I made up the story about what happened five years ago on my being in Soldier. I left my village looking for glory, but I never made it into Soldier. I was sure ashamed from being so weak. Then I heard this story from my friend Zach. And I created an illusion of myself based on what I had seen in my life. And I continued to play the straight as if it were true. So he just fucking forgot? Like... <laughs> Um, 
What, why did you? Because he asked me to. Okay, so he wants to be a skinhead. So he forgot, partially because of Mako poisoning from the reactor, partially because he actually tried out for soldier and got some of the Genova cells in, in, injected, but mm -hmm. failed the tryouts. Mm -hmm. he, he wasn't strong enough to do it. Mm -hmm. He's obviously a fucking weakling, as you can see, and um, partially because of some. Other trauma that you don't that isn't really explained until Crisis Core, but they kind of show it in this game, so we'll see. There's one more nugget of the, one more bit. But basically, he ended up he, he was he was completely delusional, and he and he, and he just thought he was he, he thought he was Zack basically, and he never was. Well, I don't really see why he's weak. He's been defeating fucking dragons and shit. Yeah, now he is. Yeah. He wasn't before. All right. I have yes. Illusion, huh? Pretty damn strong from illusion. Damn. Physically, I'm built like someone in Soldier. Hodor's plan to clone Sephiroth wasn't that difficult. It was just the same procedure they used from creating members of Soldier. That's why all the soldiers are having... Have, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all tying together now. You see, someone in Soldier isn't just simply exposed to Mako energy. Their bodies are injected with Genova cells. For better or worse, only the strong can enter Soldier. It has nothing to do with the Genova reunion. But we people like me get lost in the whole thing. Yeah, so what happens is... Um, the soldiers that are strong-willed enough can resist the Genova cells and use them, and the ones that are weak-willed end up turning into those robed figures. But he didn't turn into a robed figure. He just didn't put it on, but he, uh. was, he was still following Sephiroth the entire game, okay. so he was doing it, yeah. The combination of Genova cells, Sephiroth, strong will, and my own weakness what created me. Everyone knew that. I'm pretty boy. The master of my own illusionary world. But I can't remain trapped in an illusion anymore. I'm going to live my life without pretending. You sure messed up, pretty boy. Supposed to be, you are, you're, you're sure, you're, you're a messed up person. Not that, not that you messed up, but that like, you are messed up. So, yeah. they used the wrong your. Yeah, I know. Sakes. <laughs> Look at this. That means it ain't no different from before. Yep. <laughs> Kinda, I guess. He still has all he still has all the powers of somebody who's um in soldier. He just yeah. He's just also a loser. I'm the reason why meteors falling towards us. That's why I have to do everything in in my power to fight this thing. Good. You're gonna keep fighting to save the planet? Hell yeah. It's like you always told me, Das, right? Okay, check this out. I love this. Oh well, you meant that. What? I don't understand. Everyone misquotes the quote from the there start of the game. There ain't no get off of this train. There ain't no getting yeah. off of this yeah. train. Oh, and they all laugh train. about it. Ha ha ha. Here I'm we are. I'm so excited for this to be translated properly. Yeah. So now we're cloud. <laughs> we're cloud again. Oh, pretty boy. Oh, oh, oh you're oh, back. Oh, oh, oh. He's like, oh, oh, check this oh. fat guy out. Oh, oh, pretty boy, I was moved oh, by your story. Oh, oh. I'm really a weak person. I can really understand how you feel. <laughs> no, no, it's funny we get me. But let's get ready. Okay, so our final team is Tifa because you chose not that. You chose Tifa, and I chose Yuffie. Fucking. <laughs> I like how I I can tell when I do like the most non-intrusive thing. Yummy goes ow. I'm just like. But you did. You heard the thing. Oh, that's right. The scratch You're in your. So oh, sorry. Mean to I, me. I forgot you to scratch in your knuckle. I'm sorry. Normally, you'd be non intrusive. Well, the scratch is a scrape. What's the fucking difference? When you scratch doesn't hurt when you scrape this. Oh, is that the difference? Yeah. So mean. There we go. Okay, what's going on? Listen, pretty boy. We're right in the middle of the mission for the huge materia, right? Yeah, haha! -ha. I know this is kind of the blue, but Junon has an underwater reactor. Where I can see that's the only one left. Okay, so you have to go to the underwater reactor, but we don't have to go there yet. Um, I know that there is a Zack flashback, but how do we get it, guys? By dying. Because there's a bunch of things we have to do now, we're gonna go do them. Because we don't. He's, he, okay, he's a level, level 8 pilot now. So, go to Gungaga. Oh, by the way, there's Medeal. It's like a fucking hole. Yep. It's a hole filled with goo. Let's go into it. Look <laughs> how they're just hanging out in their like destroyed village. Yep. Hey, dude. 
Ahoy, this here's my deal. As you can see, this should be a better hot springs town. Everyone's kind of gone now, but in a way, I'm glad everyone's leaned out. Feels better this way. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Okay, how about you? The dog. Hey, you feeling all better now? That's good, real good. Don't look really good at yourself here. Dude, this place is fucked. Yep. Isn't the live stream a strange thing? When I die, I wonder if I'll be floating along the middle of a warm tunnel stream like this. Just jump in, dude, and figure it out. Okay, how about you? Have you seen my husband? He disappeared during the big earthquake. I haven't seen him. He's probably gone, dude. You think he, went, he got through the door and went to the other side, went to another country on the other side? No, he's, he's dead. He, he's dead, dude. I'm sorry. Welcome. That's what you need at a time like this. A shop. What's this? Sh what are you selling here? Oh, just like the original materia? Because they have fucking nothing. Okay. I found another job. Oh no. My side job is an accessory seller in my regular job. Okay. W what's the accessory store sell? Raid Zen Chin? I think it sounds great. Amulets, fire, ice bolt, ring, fairy ring, gem ring, white cape. Okay. Nothing that I need, really. I saw it, but that's, yeah. Bread tube? Yeah, it's like a commie tube. Mm. How about you, dude? What's up with you? Welcome! We always welcome cash! What could they possibly be selling? Like, nothing! They just, they, they, you guys are all losers! Yeah, just fucking leave. Like, your town's done, man. Uh, also, apparently... Nice. You can, I guess maybe we did something wrong, but you're supposed to be able to find the uh, the woman who stocked up on all the goods here. Mm. And she's like, oh, my stuff's gone. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are at nearly oh, an hour. Crack. So Crack. let's let's go check out, guys. At Gongaga, you said? Let's go. Crack. I feel like, I don't know if you would like a hot spring or not. You always get too warm too fast. Yeah, I know. You just go and suffer. Yeah, maybe. And relax. Yeah, maybe. I wouldn't relax. Yeah, man. Just relax. Okay, going to Gungaga. Gungaga's south. Oh, so you mean, um, Zach's house, then? <sighs> oh, an hour for this part, I mean. Oh, that's the reactor that's busted up. You went the wrong Do you recall way. when we went to that reactor and we got the Titan materia? Scarlet was like looking for a really big reactors, yeah. making big. That's why. Yeah. That, that's why. Yeah. Go to one of those hey, hot froggy. springs where they serve alcohol and food. Ooh, that sounds nice too, actually. Yeah. But I don't know if I like sake. Cause I don't like wine in general. Mm, yeah. I kind of want to try sake, but I also don't want to like waste it, you know. Yeah, you know what you mean. Mm. Okay, so the southmost house that'd be this one. Hey guys. He's got to go to 10 years! Oh no! Okay. So, what's your name? Zach? This yes. didn't do anything. We've done this before, yeah. No, no, no. We're looking for the cutscene where you get to see the back of the truck. Zach in the back of the truck. Ivelheim's basement. Okay. God damn, that's like way out. Okay, fine. We'll just fly there. It's not a big deal. Okay. And it's over here. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, the Shinra Mansion basement. Let's go. Can I just turn off encounters so we can get to the basement faster? I don't think there's encounters in, in the house anymore. Good. But yeah. there is, though. Okay, I'll turn it off. Well, no, no, I just kind of want to see if there is or not. Oh, Neely was right. Fine, you were right. Cause I oh god, these guys suck right. too. They're like immune to fit. Fuck I you. I am always I'm right. leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Just let me go. Let me go, you clingy ass bitches. Stop using moves. I'm leaving. Speaking of Zuck, I heard the next part of the Fusser remake will be a redo of Crisis Core. Um, I can't move. Excuse me. Did the controller die? 
Uh oh. Do you hear that? What? The music, it's just looping. This is why I prefer to play games on original hardware. Because this shit doesn't usually happen unless the game is poorly coded. Because this is, this is emulated on the Switch. And this doesn't happen on the original hardware. How far back are we going? To the ship. Can you imagine you have to do the whole cutscene again? No, to the ship. You saved on the oh, ship. Oh, did I save? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Never should have ran. Dude, Final Fantasy XV fucking sucks. Yeah, no, don't play Final Fantasy XV. You'll, like, love it, and then you'll hate it. And it'll just be an unfortunate experience. Like, only buy it if it's less than $10. I'm serious. Let me see it, like, right here. Okay. So we'll just... We'll just fly to fucking... Fly to Nebelheim. Oh, you have played it. Were you disappointed at the end, Zen Chan? Avoid the host. This thing is, like, unfinished. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't remember, I, I totally missed who just asked, but, um, Final Fantasy XV starts as, like, this open, like, giant, massive open world, and you have a car, and it's amazing, and you can travel wherever you want, and there's, like, these big dungeons you can go into, and the graphics are beautiful and amazing, and then, once you progress enough through the story, you leave the open area world, and then it's just fucking corridors, and giant boss battles until you reach the end of the game, and it sucks. Also, I saw the Hot Springs thing, but I was talking, so I missed it. Please post again. We've played Chrono Trigger. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Here it is. Yeah, Square nearly, nearly got bankrupted from 15. It was, it was supposed to be an episodic game, then it fucking failed. Hmm. Okay, here we go, guys. The flashback is happening. Oh, shit. Yeah, so Zack and Cloud were kept in these tubes in the basement of Nibelheim after the incident. Alright. Yeah, I figured they both got fucked with. And here's Hojo's scientists. Hey, this is your food. Even though they're not holding anything. More from a vegetable soup. Mmm. That sounds good, actually. Oh yeah, so those scratchings... Remember? On these two tanks? Mm -hmm. That was them talking to each other. Oh, really? Cloud and Zack, they were scratching into each other. Yeah. And so Zack got out, and Cloud just fell out, because Cloud's a weakling and Zack's not. It's like, oh, fuck, dude. He gets the, he gets the Buster Sword. Do this, get your tub full of nice steamy water, legit add some from the kettle when you fill it, order sushi and sake. Remember, I got a brain if you want, that's actually kind of cheap because barely anyone drinks sake over here. Let me know if you catch yeah. this. That sounds actually really good, Thor the Godly. Oh, here. Put this on. It smells a little, but don't complain. You're pretty good with that. So he gave, like, he, he gave Cloud one of his, like, spare uniforms, I guess. Mm. So well, he had one mm -hmm. this whole time. And here they are. They're, they're on the back of a truck. Yo, old guy, we got Midgar yet? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> like he even gave you a ride. <sighs> what are you gonna do once you get into Midgar? Uh, you're pretty voiced a lot of it. <laughs> you're pretty voiced a lot of it. Oh, I'm gonna do. And Zach's like completely oblivious to it too. It's kind of stupid. I got a place I can crash for a while. No, wait. The mother lives there too. Yeah, that's Eris's place too. Yeah. And Zach really was a playboy in the end. Yeah. Guess that's out. Gross. They, they call he has he, he has like Cloud's exact mannerisms too. Yep. 
Yep, gotta change my plans. Hmm. What do I, need, what do, I do? I need some money first. Okay, want to start a business? What can we do? Cloud's still like a fucking vegetable here. Hey, pretty boy. Think there's anything I'd be good at? Hey, old guy. What are you gonna be good at? What are you yapping about? You're still young, ain't you? Young folks should try everything. You gotta pay your dues while you're young. Go look for what you really want. Try everything. That's easy for him to say. You doing squats? Hey! Of course! I got more brains and skill than most other guys. That settles it. I'm gonna become a mercenary. Yeah, thanks, Pops. Hey, did you ever hear, hear a word I said? <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna become a mercenary, and that's that. Boring stuff, dangerous stuff, anything for money. I'm gonna be rich. So, pretty boy, what are you gonna do? No, wait, you got it all wrong. Uh. Just kidding. I won't leave you hanging like that. We're friends, right? Mercenaries, pretty boy. That's, that's what you and me are going to be. Understand? Okay. Like, he's just still affected from being, um, mm -hmm. like, experimented on. Mm -hmm. And Zach's dragging, Zach's dragging him along. How many times has Pretty Boy become a vegetable? Twice now? Twice, yeah. Oh! Oh, he's dead. They just fill him full of holes. What do you want to do with him? Uh. Forget it, just leave him. So that's how he escaped. Yeah. <laughs> Shinra grunts not doing their fucking jobs. Yeah. And then Cloud's crawling up. It's like, God damn it. And Zack's already dead. He takes his sword. And they're they're right at Midgar. Jesus. And that's when he gets into Midgar. Yep. And um, becomes a mercenary. Yep. So there you go. Why? There's the whole story. Wow. Is there anything you're, you you've missed? Nope. Yeah, Crisis Core is basically Zack's entire extended story. Mm-hmm. And it's a fucking terrible game. Mm. It's a fucking terrible game. It's probably just because Zack seems kind of like a terrible guy. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? Like, like, yeah, sure, like, fun to, like, have a little bit of here and there. Like, yeah. he'd be, like, a side character in an anime, you yeah. know? Story is great. Zack is likable. Well, here's the thing. Non-believable. Zack is supposed to be kind of a dick. Mm -hmm. And they make him a much better person mm -hmm. in Crisis Core. Mm. And then they also added, like, all these new fucking side characters that just sucked. Mm -hmm. And they did this big fucking story that was that was terrible. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and they made Sephiroth likable, too. Mm -hmm. Basically, Crisis Core is fucking awful. Mm -hmm. It's fucking awful. Zack's a poopy head. Then they had Gact play uh, um, Genesis in that. Mm -hmm. And the, the entire reason Genesis isn't around, even though he's just as strong as Sephiroth, because they had to make it a fanfic as shit, is like, Genesis like goes underground and he stays there for the entire events of Final Fantasy VII. He comes back up for the sequel. So the prequel, he's in it. In the sequel, he's in it. But in this game, he's not around. Because they added it to the story later because it makes no fucking sense. Retcon, also Master Gregory, yes. Fucking terrible. All right, so that's that. That's the that's the backstory. We have, we have our final party set, and we shouldn't have to move them around anymore. Um, uh, yeah, um, that was that. What do you think? Cloud's <laughs> <was> fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 
Cloud's fucking nuts. That is my uh, opinion of all of this. Yeah. It's almost like weirdly anticlimactic that Cloud was just the fucking like delusion, like delusional person. I like it though. Yeah, but like I don't, I don't know how to feel about it honestly. I mean, he's obviously good now. Well, no, yeah, I know, but like it's weirdly anticlimactic, you know? Like, did, was he like spit, like he wasn't brainwashed or anything? Oh, he partially was like, too. Sort of. Like he, but... he, he was still being influenced by Genova because mm -hmm. of the Genova cells. But also, he was just delusional about his entire life because he fucking sucked. Yeah, like that's just kind of like, oh, all right. Yeah, you're just a terrible person, Cloud. Okay. Oof. Thanks, Master Gregor. Mm. Genetic so, yeah. ideological possession. Yep, there's that too. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll watch Evan Children. Because Evan Children is kind of shitty, but it's not that shitty. Mm. This one should die. <laughs> oh, yeah. it should all die. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're getting out of here. Um, we'll come back. Um, I don't know. When, probably um, tomorrow. Um, no, just um. Okay. Yeah. Um. There we go.